Oh wait, this is the one. Arigato. Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senuka. As you see, I got the table, chairs. Well, still, carbon box is here. However, you know, my room is getting ready, right? Anyway, today I'm planning to go into the furniture store, but not the regular furniture store. That's the furniture store, which is the cheapest in Japan. It run by the local government, and the local government want us to reuse and recycle the furniture. So that's why they don't try to make a profit, but uh, it's cheap. <laughs> Well, it's my first time to be there and then I think that would be interesting and also I can find my furniture too. So I think that's a perfect plan to visit there. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm drinking Karupisu. It's a salty rice flavor. It's really fruity and a little bit salty. <laughs> Not really though. By the way, this is the bed I was talking about on my Instagram story. The mattress, somehow it doesn't fit with me much. I'm not sure it's because of the mattress or pillow. I just changed the pillow and it gets a little bit better, but uh, I might need to change the mattress. Yeah, it was pretty good price. However, doesn't fit with me much. And this is the space that I'm planning to place the table. It's not the big space, however, I want to have the chair and the table so that I can eat the breakfast and the dinner over here. Oh, by the way, uh, this is the vacuum cleaner that I bought on Amazon. The price was about 3,500 Japanese yen. It was really cheap. However, after I bought it, I realized that uh, firstly, it's cold. You always have to tie it. And also many parts are really cheap. Well, it was cheap, so I shouldn't have expected so much, but uh, not really useful. Well, if you just want to vacuum only several times per week, probably that could be a good option. But I want to vacuum every day, so probably I should have bought a good one. Yeah, better one. So the furniture store is kind of far from here. Firstly, I have to go to Shinagawa Station and also I have to take a bus. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> it wouldn't take that much time. Alright, anyway, let's go. JT2. The doors on the right side will open. Please change here. The Yoko Line and the Alright, here we go. Sweet, we arrived to Shinagawa Station. <laughs> But it's almost 3 p.m. The furniture warehouse will close at 4.30 and we have to take bus from here. So we have to go there quick, as fast as possible. <laughs> Let's keep walking. Shinagawa Station is a big station. I was planning to explore the Shinagawa Station and also eat food. But uh, you know, since we don't have much time, firstly, let's go to the warehouse. According to the website, firstly, we have to go to the Shinagawa Ekiko Minamiguchi. Kakko Higashiguchi? Okay. Uh, let's go to find. Oh, I found it. And you know what? Yeah. I thought that's a Shinagawa Ekiko Minamiguchi, but actually it's a Shinagawa Ekikonan exit. Yeah, Konan is the one word. Sometimes it's really confusing. For Japanese learner, you got it. Anyway, so East Exit is over here. I believe bus stop, we can find it too. This is one of the most popular stations for companies, I mean for salary men. There are many workers coming over here, 
to work for the company. As you can see, it's huge. Whenever I visit here, I feel like, oh, I'm in Tokyo now. How do you guys feel? By the way, you guys will see it later, but Shinagawa Station is one of the Shinkansen Station. Kona exit, almost there. Oh, here we go. So I found the bus info number. Okay, so those are the bus route. And I have to take the Shina 99. Oh yeah, so I think this is the one. Shinagawa Futo. Yeah, Shinagawa Futo. That's the place we are heading to. So, number eight. Okay, we are here. And the number eight is this way. So we have to go this way. Let's keep walking. Oh my goodness, it's really hot today. Today, it's 36 degrees. I heard some place hit 40 degrees. Yeah, soon will be Tokyo, 40 degrees too. <laughs> really humid, so I sweat a lot. Anyway, that's the summer. Let's enjoy it. Oh, there is NTT company. I didn't know that. Uh, my cell phone carrier is NTT Docomo. So, that's a company headquarters. Oh, wait. Is that the bus? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. Is it? Uh, let me see. 99. Oh, yeah. Probably this is the one. I almost missed it and I'm not sure how long I had to wait, so I'm lucky. Oh wait, this is the one. Hi, I don't know. Right on time, seems like it's my lucky day. So everyone take off the bus at the Tokyo Shutsunyu Kokuchai Ryukan Rikyoku. There were many people in the bus, but everyone took off the bus at the Tokyo Regional Immigration Place. And then now only me in the bus. Feels like a VIP. <laughs> All right, here we go. Finally, we arrive. Oh my goodness, this is like middle of nowhere. It's my first time to be here. Uh, because of the security reason, regular car cannot enter here. So if you want to visit this area, you have to take bus or taxi. Uh, how long? Bus took about 20 minutes and the price cost 210 Japanese yen. So yeah. Not that bad. Anyway, hopefully I can find a good and a nice furniture. Oh, not sure how it works this place, but uh, no traffic lights for pedestrian. Oh, wait, maybe I should, I need to follow that light. By the way, we are at Minatoku, one of the richest city in Tokyo. Minatoku and Chiyodaku. Those cities, many rich people live there. So hopefully, we can find a really nice furniture. Is this the place? Let me see. Oh, okay. So I believe this is the place. Uh, let's enter here. I'm not sure. How can I get to the furniture place? Oh, so I got it. Those are the factories and we are here. And here, that's the furniture place. So, that way, let's keep walking. Got it! Kagu no Recycle Ten. Recycle the furniture display. Must be here. So, they open from Monday to Saturday from 9.30 to 4.30. Seems like it's in the second floor. So, let's go. Oh, nice! They're talking about the recycle. Interesting. So those cows will be recycled. Oh, I've seen this kind of roads many times on the street in Japan. But I didn't know it was made by the glasses. Oh, good job. They recycle it, huh? 
Nice. Very friendly for Earth. Oh, so just came out from there. It was really quiet and also it's in this small place and only me there so I couldn't really shoot the video. Sorry about that. But uh, I wanted to explain how it looks like and uh, how it is. Anyway, the bus just came. I'm lucky so. So let's take this bus. So just came back to the Shinagawa station. So I actually sit it on the TV news and uh, it seems pretty nice. However, when I visit there, I was really quiet and pretty much no one was there. The space was like, I don't know how many furnitures were there. Maybe 30, 40. And then the older the furniture were really cheap. Yeah, trust me, it was really cheap. So if you are looking for the really cheap furniture and the big furniture, then probably you can visit there and you can find a good furniture. However, if you are living by yourself or you are looking for the, some small furniture, probably that's not the place you want to go because they only had the family size furniture. Well, it was kind of unfortunate that I couldn't find a good furniture over there, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I could expect that too. Anyway, I wanted to share the cheapest furniture store in Tokyo, I mean in Japan, so I'm happy that I could share. Anyway, so we are at Shinagawa Station. Let me introduce the Shinagawa Station and I'm starving. Let's eat something good, yeah. So. Let's go. Shinagawa Station is a big station. Uh, there are so many drinking izakaya, which is a Japanese bar. Last time I explored outside the station during the live stream, so today let's explore inside the station. There is a Shinkansen station too, so it's a big station. Let's keep walking. Oh, Ultraman! And also, Usopp! One Piece. The new movie is coming, huh? One Piece film red. Are you guys gonna watch that? It's starting from August 6th. Uh, I'm not sure I will go to this theater to watch that or not, but definitely when they have it on Netflix, I will watch that. I look forward to it. And now we came back to the station. Inside the station, there are many stores too, I believe so. Oh my goodness, so many lines and so many people. As I said, uh, I haven't been to Shinagawa Station much, so I'm already lost. That's a big station. So it seems like that's a bread store. They sell donuts too. I love bread. Especially trying new bread in the different places. Oh, look at this corn cheese bread. Looking pretty good. And uh, oh, that's a curry bread. Interesting. Here, that's a fruit sandwiches. Also, onigiri. Oh, that tempura onigiri. Huge shrimp. Price is 290 Japanese yen. Number one popular wine. No wonder. And that's Uniqlo. Also a bookstore. That's Uogashi Nippongichi. Popular chain restaurant of the standing sushi restaurant. There is no chair. You have to stand and eat, but the price is cheaper. And it seems like this is a curry restaurant. Spice factory. Huh. Looks pretty good. Oh my goodness, look at this. That's interesting. That's a udon restaurant. But uh, Tenobe udon. Many shrimp and veggies. Oh, this one looking healthy. Looks pretty good too. Should I eat this? Let me check other place too. It's Tonkatsu restaurant and also ramen. Tonkatsu ramen. You know what? I'm already super hungry, so let's eat udon. I'm starving. Yeah, that's my lunch. Very late lunch. <laughs> Thank you.
So those are the menu items they have. Basically, they have a hot and cold udons. This one looks pretty good, and this tempura I know, see one is pretty good too. Yeah, seems like this is the special one, but it's hot, so I wanna eat something cold. Let me see. Oh, they have an English menu. So, either this or this. Oh, this one is manager's recommendation. This one. Take a guess which one I will order. So today, actually, I was expecting to eat before going to the furniture store. However, <laughs> because I was late, so my lunch became super late. But I'm super happy. Finally, I can eat. Yep, cold udon, perfect in the summertime. All right, here we go. Smells really nice, tempura smell, and also wasabi. So inside, there's yam, meat, green onion, egg. And tempura, eating with wasabi. Itadakimasu. Compared to the regular udon, the soup is little, but it's more condensed, so it has a stronger taste. Mm. Perfectly matches with meat. Loving it. Have you tried wasabi with udon? Well, if you love wasabi, definitely you gotta try it. It's yam, wasabi, and the udon combination. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I was too excited. I should be quiet. Psycho. And mixing the half boiled egg. Sorry, I said yam with wasabi and the udon in the perfect combination, right? But uh, let me rephrase that. Half of the egg, yam, wasabi, and the udon. I mean, cold udon. It's the perfect combination. <laughs> Loving it. Ooh, that was pretty good. Feels like I had one of the best udon. Well, maybe because I was very hungry, you know, the hunger is the best appetite. So. <laughs> Anyway, that was good. Let's keep exploring the Shinagawa station more. So let's keep walking. Okay, so we are here right now, and it seems like we have a different place. Oh, favorite sweet traveler's kitchen, the variety market. Interesting. Okay, so let's explore there. Let's go. All right, seems like this way. Oh my goodness, look at those bentos! Looking pretty good! Eh? Fancy! Also, so many different kinds of bento. It's a bit different compared to station bento. So, I believe this is the souvenir area. Many souvenir suites. This is the souvenir stores area. Oh, nice! So, we are over here right now, and uh, wait. There is a Mizunoto Hiroba Sound of Water Square. Is it under? Oh, there. There is a fountain. Maybe that's the one they were talking about. Yeah, very nice area. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's interesting. It's lemon mochi. There is a lemon inside of the mochi. Price is 270 Japanese and limited. Why not? Let's try this. Let me get one. All right, sweet. I got lemon mochi. He told me that uh, I place it in the fridge and make it cooler. Tastes to be better. So let's go back to the room and uh, let me place it in the fridge. Oh, so came back to the apartment. Uh, actually, I like this angle. <laughs> Even though it's super messy, but it will get better. Well, anyway, I'm so happy that I have a place to eat after I buy something in Tokyo. Well, before, I had no place to eat, so I usually eat it on the street, but uh, now we do. So this is how it looks like. Okay, uh, I place it in the refrigerators. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it looks small. 
price is 300 Japanese yen. Wow. That sounds like Japanese snack. I'm talking about the price. <laughs> anyway. Oh, can you see that inside there is lemon? Alright, so itadakimasu. Oh, mecha oishi. Oh, itadaka ga. Kanpai. Hmm, perfect with this lemon. Manju. <laughs> I brought the dish, but I think I didn't need it. So, this is how it looks like inside. Here, I don't see actual lemon, but uh, yeah, I can taste that there is a real lemon. It's not that sour, but a very nice strong lemon flavor. <sighs> yeah. Perfect with coffee. <laughs> and that's it. Well, thinking about 300 Japanese yen, it is a bit expensive, but uh, you know, usually that's how the wagashi, which is the Japanese sweets, works. Speaking of the warehouse that we have been today, I learned it from the TV. Yeah, the, there was a TV cam and uh, wow, that's pretty nice. Wow, that's cheap. Like, uh, that's something what I see and I was expecting that's like huge warehouse. But uh, well, it looked pretty cool on TV, but it wasn't that much. Yeah, but again, it's interesting as well. If you have a big family and uh, you know, you are looking for uh, some second hand stuff, maybe you can go there. However, one thing you have to be careful is that that's in the special district, so you can't go there by the regular car. So you have to go either bus or taxi. That means even you buy a furniture, you can't take it home. You have to ask for the company to send it to your place. So eventually, uh, that costs money too. <laughs> But I think overall, still it's pretty cheap though. Well, unfortunately, today's place was not the enjoyable place or cool place. However, hope you guys could see the real life in Japan. Yeah, you know, if I can show you guys the real Japan, I'm happy. And I hope you guys enjoy that too. Well, if you still enjoyed it please hit the like button and encourage me yeah still <laughs> uh, i need to go to furniture shopping <laughs> never mind oh and speaking of the apartment now the kitchen is ready so that i can cook however i haven't unboxed those boxes yet so this week i will unbox it and place it all over the places and after finish unpacking all the stuffs I'm planning to travel all over Japan again so if you haven't and if you like Japan don't be shy please subscribe and join the adventure big thank you to all of the patreons because of you guys support I can keep making videos all right so hope you enjoy the video so see you in the next video see no go and ta -da! this is a gift that I received. It's from my Amazon's wish list. Thank you so much, Nicole. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what's inside and uh, I totally forgot uh, what I place it over there. So <laughs> let me see. Let's unbox it. <laughs> I usually post it on the Instagram story. However, let's open that. Okay. Hi, Ryan from Australia to you. Thank you for your hard work. Arigato so Nicole. What's inside? <laughs> ah, uh, it's a Vegemite. And uh, also, what is this? Uh, I think this is not something I place it on my Amazon's wish list. <laughs> I guess. Uh, Hugh Jackman show Jimmy Fallon how to eat Vegemite from Nicole in Australia. Okay, so what is this? If someone knows, let me know. And what is this? 
<laughs> sweetie. That's sweetie. The Eplong. <laughs> Definitely this one later. I didn't place it on the Amazon's wish list. But uh, I like it. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. How is it? Does it feel? <laughs> Let me know in the comment down below. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nicole. I didn't know that you can send something not on the wish list. <laughs> yeah, but uh, good surprise. Arigato. And uh, yeah, Vegemite. It's my first time to hear that. Is it popular in Australia? Is it the vitamin or something? Hmm. No idea. Anyway, thank you so much for the gift from my Amazon's wishlist. And also, I'm planning to get the PO box and the planning to unbox like this in the future. So, uh, still I don't have one, but uh, when I get the, I mean, sorry, virtual office, we can't have the PO box in Japan, so. Uh, I will have the virtual office. Still, I haven't got one yet, but when I get it, I will let you guys know. So please look forward to it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So see you in the next video. Cooking Ryan. <laughs>